No, I, I just, I am just hearing that in some area it happened. That is the only thing I can say about it. I see the number ones. Hey, one of the person that used to buy car, they come and show me the number. Even if it's a missed call, they now show me that you see the number. Because if you die a number for somebody, it will ring and ring and nobody will pick it. Because they won't be thinking that because nobody is three, three somehow. In fact, I only heard it, but I didn't see it physical, whether it's real or true. I don't know, in fact. But I hear that it's key. But I don't know whether it's true to me. Whether I believe. Hey, if I see physical, that will, that will be the time I will believe that it's true, that it's happening. But now I didn't see it physical, so I'm not believe. Of recent, I witnessed at uh, Songwater when I was coming back to Lagos. So I witnessed a, a man that fell on the floor, so we were in the vehicle. So recently, he was with the phone, so we could not know what is happening with the man. So unfortunately, we now came down, we now saw the number that, I, that was on his phone. So not quite long, so he started bleeding from his nose and uh, blood started coming from out of his nose and uh, started bleeding. So we rushed him to the hospital before we could know the man died. So we have to call some of his relatives and uh, family members that he's that the number is on the phone. So they now came and they started asking us where we brief them on what we see before we rush him to the hospital. As for me as a Christian, I don't believe uh, there's anything called killer number. Bible says when devil wants to handle you, they ever sense fear to you. And send fear to you, he handle you that way and will be able to kill you. The operators of this mobile network who spoke to crime fighters off camera say scientifically it is not possible for such a bizarre thing to happen through the phone. The chairman of the National Communications Commission, Ernest Ndukwe, has come out to say publicly that the killer number rumor is the imagination of some mischief makers and should be waved off. The first public relations officer of the Nigeria Police Force, Chris Olakwe, says the killer number scare should be taken as another April Fool joke. Uh, it was uh, laughable in the first place because such numbers are non-existent. So the rumor has no, had no foundation and I wondered why people were afraid and uh, were getting uh, disturbed. Because it defies log logic that a um, non-existent number, if you want to talk about MTN, you want to talk about Econet, you want to talk about any existing line, it does not have to do anything with uh, 111. So it defies logic that people should be afraid. It's laughable, and people should discountenance it and uh, throw it to the trash. It is just the handiwork of mischief makers. All is rumor. No uh, incident was reported or incidented in any police station anywhere in this federation or in Lagos State in particular. So you find out that um, it's just a uh, rumor mongering and mischief makers who are just trying to spread uh, those mischiefs to cause um, disaffection among the ranks of the public. The public should discountenance it and forget about it as uh, one of those um, uh, rumors like April Fool. So that's how we view it. For Emmanuel Igodalo, Police Public Relations Officer for Lagos State Police Command, it is a ruse and should be taken as such. Well, it is a horse. It is something that is unbelievable. It is something that should not be reckoned with in this century. It is uh, a fact that cannot be, I mean, it is an issue that cannot be established. And uh, it is unimaginable in the first place for somebody to think something, a, a technology that is supposed to enhance our social status, that is supposed to enhance our communication ability, has now become a <laughs> killer uh, uh, numbers, or what they call it, or a means of uh, annihilation of human life. I don't think it is true one of those things that could happen in a place called Lagos. Yeah, because in the past we heard of, uh, uh, that was in the 1970s, that some people were turned into ghosts. Yeah, until uh, the police and the government came to say, put a stop to it, it never stopped really. Then, even on yearly basis, the real cause, when people say, oh, their genitals have uh, disappeared, that some people go about you know, taking other people's uh, private parts. And you discover that those things were not proved. In this case now, it's something uh, that cannot be scientifically approved. But it depends on your level of education. It depends on your way of thinking 
and the very place where you reside. Because some of these things <laughs> are being heard of in some slum areas. <laughs> you know? So, well, I think uh, if these people are still, you know, carrying on this, uh, uh, with this uh, issue, that there are some numbers, are uh, killer numbers, we should get them arrested. We should take them to the police for proper investigation. Why do they want to cause commotion? So some people are actually propagating this uh, uh, story, and the story is a fallacy. What we have to say about all this is for mischief makers to get gainfully employed and stop spreading false rumors. My dear friends, the key to effective policing or the key to effective relationship between the police, the government, and the community is trust and mutual benefits. And these things don't happen overnight. Trust is a process, not a destination. We have to understand that the police need government, government needs police, police needs community, the community needs the police. But each side has to be made to feel very comfortable. And so to you in government, pay the police good salaries. Provide opportunities for continued professional growth and development. Make them feel worthy, make them feel needed, and they'll give you 100%. Police, take the time to understand your community. Build friendship, build bridges. Let them understand that you are there to protect them and not to hurt them. And citizens, the police are here to protect you. They are there to look out for your best interest. Work with them. You know, in the last few days, I've had occasion to interact with some police officers. I find them to be just decent people, uh, people who work hard, people who want to do their very best for society. So let's work together and create a peaceful Nigeria, a stable Nigeria, one to which foreign investors will come. And do me a favor, always watch Crime Fighters, a weekly